Hi you guys! Happy Sunday fun day! Um, today I told you we were going to start out by making this all about kids. So I hope your kids are either involved or really excited about um, today's little milkshake fiesta that we're going to do. Um, it's going to be basic. It's going to be mint chocolate chip milkshakes. Um, to me nothing basic about those. I love them. Kids love them. So if you guys are ready, uh, it was very simple. I just said to grab some um, mint chocolate chip ice cream, a little bit of milk, and if you like whipped cream, you can always top it with whipped cream. But these ones are kind of just good as they are. And then we're following that up with a grown-up drink. So I hope you guys are ready. Um, hi, Bryn, if you're there. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're excited about your milkshakes today. So we're going to do that. I, myself, am going to do a little larger portion size because I have about 4,000 kids. Um, they all wanted a milkshake. So I'm going to be portioning mine out for three kids. So we're going to get started. So the ingredients are basic. We have our mint chocolate chip ice cream, our ice cream scoop, and then our milk. And I'm going to grab some ice. I had no clue that yesterday I was going to be able to share my video. Like I said, I'm kind of learning as I go. Hi, Danny. Um, I'm learning as I go. Every day is something new. But um, somehow I was able to upload the video and start the, um, the channel on YouTube. So um, we had to doctor something today because uh, it renamed my Gmail. So you're going to search Christy Ratliff and then subscribe to that page. And then all of my uploaded videos will follow from there. Okay. So we're gonna get started. We got our trusty Ninja Blender. Is everybody tired today? I'm so tired today. Hi Sheila, how are you? Chris was telling stories about you this morning. It's so cute to see you on here. He said you have everything. <laughs> All right. So here we go. I hope everybody loves mint chocolate chip like we do. My grown-up drink is kind of mint chocolate chip inspired too. So we're just having mint chocolate chip day. All right. So like I said, my portion size is going to be a little larger because I'm uh, making shakes for a small army. So I add in my scoops. And this one, since there's chocolate chips and the ice cream is already pretty rich as it is, I don't really use the whipped cream in this one, like I was saying with my orange cream sickle the other day, just because there's a lot going on with the um, chocolate chips. So that's all preference. All right. And I'm going to do one more scoop for good measure. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Dean. All right, and we're going to get started. I hope all your kids are having fun and finding a way to keep themselves busy. I know it's been a little crazy. Everybody's losing their minds, adults included. All right, here we go. We're milkshaking. <laughs> I'm still going to add a little more milk to uh, make mine a little less thick. I always do less is more because I don't want them too runny. nice blend here going. I got my fancy little dollar store trinkets that I told you guys all about. For those that weren't on here yesterday, the dollar store is where it's at. If you want to get their BPA friendly, 
I still, like I said, hand wash or top rack, a dollar. These make your kids so happy because they're fancy and then they feel, you know, they're cool. They're for milkshakes. Why not? sitting here waiting for a milkshake. All right. Baby. And then I like to take my straws when it's something for the kids. For the kids. And I, um, I cut them just to make them shorter. portion little mint chocolate chip milkshakes that's how that's done so little things here you guys want your milkshakes milkshakes are ready all right Charlie wants them okay I know that was quick I hope you guys enjoyed it um, we will do, we'll try to do a kid's um, cocktail, kitty cocktail of some sort every week, whether it's a milkshake. We'll do little summary ones. Uh, we welcome all ideas, all suggestions. Like I said, my sweet little niece loves mint chocolate chip ice cream and so do my kids. So this is a great start. Hi, Sarah. So I hope she loves it. I took a poll before I even started. My kids did not want the um, whipped cream today, which is shocking because they put whipped cream on everything. So now going on for the grown-up portion, we are going to do, it's called a Dirty Girl Scout. People call them grasshoppers. Call them anything you want, but I'm going to take you over to my drawing board again. The ingredients for the Dirty Girl Scout, you can do these as a shot, you can do them as a drink. Um, we're gonna do a six count of vodka, regular vodka, not flavored vodka, and a two count of Bailey's, and then a two count or less, oh my dog's crazy, it's hilarious, of the cream de menthe. Um, less is kind of more when it comes to that, just so you guys are aware, because obviously it's green, uh, it's thick. So um, it's a great additive for the flavor, but use this with caution. Definitely a less is more liqueur, but it has a great flavor if it's used properly. This, it's like bottomless. It's so small, but I swear it's like it never ends. Um, and just how I was saying the other day, how there are different brands and things like that, just so you know you have options. I just want to show you I'm a person of my word when I say that. Emmett's Irish Cream Liquor. Same thing as Bailey's, it's just a different brand. So I just wanted to be clear. I, you'll never see like consistency around here. We'll find what we find. Um, I'm, I'm not really partial to any particular vodka. We like just about anything. And jokingly, I said that um, anything with the word vodka in it, that we drink a lot of different flavored ones in the summer. So there's all different brands. Uh, we like to keep pretty open. Um, there's been a couple people, um, Aaron, um, Jason, Stefanski. You guys shared some great recipes on my page, the Facebook page the other day. Harmony, um, I did see your um, request to make a mojito. We will be making a mojito. I went to the store yesterday. And I, I couldn't buy all the liquor and stuff like that because like a lot of this stuff I did already have at home. Um, I will say we do have a margarita lined up for tomorrow. I figured it would be margarita Mondays, so that will be fun. Um, I got um, mojito mix, and I do have some club soda. Um, Sprite, I always top them with Sprite because they taste so good, or 7-Up. But uh, I will, I'm, I am acknowledging these drinks. I got another request to make a Long Island. So these are great ideas and things I will work into these recipes and these weekly things to show everybody. So don't feel ignored. Um, it's kind of as I gather these things because I know one thing I don't have in this house, I don't have gin. 
So I will need that for the uh, for the Long Island, and then I will need to get some rum and uh, fresh mint things like that. But those things, I do appreciate the ideas, and I promise you, I will throw them in. Because like I said, these drinks aren't just for me. This is so we can get together in about 15 good minutes. I feel like I'm at work. I feel like I'm talking with a bunch of grown-ups just being myself and doing what I would be doing if I was at work. So you guys are really making this um, happy time for me. So thank you for that. All right, so we're going to make this. I'm going to make mine as a shot. And I will say, depending on how far this goes, um, around the holidays, like um, this can be more of like, a, like I said, a shot or a drink. There's sometimes I get really fancy, more so in the winter, um, around the holidays. I will take frosting put on a little plate, turn this upside down, swirl it around, and you'll have a nice little rim. I like chocolate usually when I make these, or I make, um, um, Olive Garden used to make a drink called the Chocolate Almond Amore, and they stopped making it, but I remember the additives. It was like the, um, almost like a Di Sirono, Amaretto, mixed in with vodka, what else, huh, <laughs> right? Um, and then the chocolate swirl, which I really did want to do the chocolate swirl today, but I'm sure that somebody in the house whose name rhymes with Carson used it all. So I was going to decorate the glass with a chocolate swirl because chocolate makes the world go round. But um, anyway, I would dip that in the frosting so you'd have that rim, and then I would put sprinkles on it and dip them in the sprinkles. So it looks really, really fun for the holidays, and then when you're done, you're like, uh, yeah. You teach your kids not to lick stuff, and then you go do it. But it's so good, so who cares? So we're going to make our drink. I picked a wine glass today just to put that in. I'm not going to make a really huge one because I'm um, not trying to die at 4 o'clock today. Yes, please do, Jason. I appreciate it. Hi, Miss Kelly. We miss you. I hope everything's going good for you and your family. Actually, my family, because we adopted you into our family. So you're our family. I hope my family's doing good. All right. So my wine glass, I'm going to put that in there. Carson, is that you? Yep. Your milkshake's on the table, buddy. Are you okay? I did. That was fast. Let me see. I'm going to see if this pour is cooperating. I had some choice words with it after yesterday's little episode. Oh, got it stuffed right together, see? Sometimes you just got to let your pores know what's going on. like listen here don't tell me pours all right and then one two it's a little thinned out so we're going to use that and one two three four five six and one thing i did not add on to my um recipe that needs to be on there is creamer Here we go. Again, this is one of those drinks you can use milk or cream. I'm always a creamer person. I just prefer it. I love the way that it brings out the flavor of the drinks that I'm making. Um, since I'm doing a small drink, it really doesn't need to be a whole lot. Again, it's just for the balance. With this drink, some people will use Kahlua. Since I've discovered the Irish cream and the Baileys, it's just, to me, a personal preference. And once you taste one versus the other, it's almost no contest. I like the flavor so much better. I'm going to throw another couple cubes in here. And this is my wine glass for my wedding day. So that's fun. It says Christy and Bride and our wedding day. All right, so look at this. See, Bryn, you just made today like mint chocolate chip day. This is like a grown-up mint chocolate chip shake. Isn't that fun? Total smeller. I know. I'm sorry. I can't help it. It's habit. Honestly, I don't even have the words. It's so good. Love the ice. I'm big on ice, ice cold. This is just amazing. It's almost like drinking, um, like it's a mint and chocolate chip shake with benefits. 
You can't hear me with my shirt on. Oh my God, this stretch, you're hilarious. This freaking cornholio. You don't want to mess with that. But I hope you guys like the ideas. Um, I'm going to continue to share to the Facebook page. Look me up on YouTube. I'm going to try to upload this video and send it. If it gives me any trouble, um, I'm always going to keep going on to the uh, Facebook fan page. But thank you guys for always um, signing in and for everything, all the suggestions, ideas, um, the little messages I'm receiving. I'm glad that I'm making people happy and that we're having fun getting through this nonsense. So, um, again, take care of each other. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to go on about 8 o'clock. So we'll do tomorrow, um, if you guys, you may not have the additives that I need for the drink that I'm going to make because it's kind of a special one. Um, I'll give you all my tips and tricks tomorrow for that, but it will be really good. Um, if you want to just make a flavored margarita with me, we are going to do a margarita inspired drink. So just grab the tequila and meet me here at 8 o'clock. I look forward to seeing you guys. Have a good one. Bye.